Yo, what up? It's Benjamin D'Souza here, back with another classic. I'm in downtown Denver right now, picking up a load. Gotta make another stop to pick up another load in East Denver. And then head to the town, man. Hopefully I'll make it there before the New Year's. Last year I spent New Year's in Boise, Idaho. <laughs> Shout out to Boise. But anyway, just scrolling through uh, social media today and I seen a meme. And it was of this um, prototypical, this chick was the prototype of an attractive sister, you know. I'm talking about, nigga, body was plickety cow, plickety cow. I'm talking about bussing, nigga. Slim, thick, all that. Eight, you know, symmetrical face, you know, beautiful features and whatnot. Brown skin, had the natural hair going, you feel me? All that. But the caption on the meme said, and a white chick could never, you know what I mean? Trying to, you know, basically saying, you know, a white chick couldn't, couldn't be like this. You know, a white chick couldn't look as good as this, you know? Okay, whatever. You know, it was kind of a jab at brothers who do date out or who have aspirations to date out. And for the umpteenth time, people, brothers who date out whether it's in, interracially or interculturally we're not doing it because we desire a surface level white chick we're not dating for phenotype man at least i'm not i can't speak for every brother but i'm not dating for phenotype the phenotype does play a role but for the most part the reason why we have such a problem with the domestic is that her orientation of how a family structure is supposed to be and how she is supposed to interact with the man with her man is how you say it's 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 wrong basically it's wrong it's whack it's matriarchal it's toxic it's it's all that bad shit that we don't want you know what i'm saying it's kind of like how can i put this it's like a, a a wide receiver, right? All right, let's 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 compare, let's compare. Let's say um, your domestic, who's hitting on all cylinders as far as looks is concerned. Let's compare her to let's let's say you have a domestic that looks wise she's an eight, or let's say she's a nine, right? And let's say there's a Latino who's a seven. Maybe six and a half, seven, right? In the looks department. Let's say both of these uh, females are wide receivers going to the NFL combine. The domestic, who is an eight, look, uh, who is a nine in the looks department, is akin to, let's say, um, a physical specimen of a receiver. You know, six three, six four, two hundred twenty, two hundred thirty pounds. You know, on the bench press, they're doing like 20, 25, 30 reps, runs a four, three, five, vertical leap, 40 inches, you know, checks all the boxes as far as just raw physical attributes, you feel me? But when it's time to run the drills and whatnot and catch the passes, you see, yeah, this motherfucker can, can jump out the gym and... and Outrun Speedy Gonzalez, but this motherfucker got two feet for hands. He can't catch shit. You know what I mean? Can't catch. He's stiff in the hips, so you can't you can't run routes properly. You know what I mean? Your shit just look good on paper. You're a workout warrior. You know what I mean? Now let's contrast that with the uh, Latina chick, right? Who's a seven in the looks department. You know, maybe compare her to a receiver. She may be six feet, six one, 205 pounds or whatnot, runs like a four, six, maybe a high four, five, like a four, five, eight, four, five, nine, mm, probably a 35, maybe 34 inch vertical. You know what I'm saying? Not, you know, the numbers they, you know, the numbers that they put, the, the numbers that this Latina puts up in the gym, uh, in the combine isn't going to wow you. You know what I mean? It's not going to jump out to you. But when it's time for this Latina to do the drills, this motherfucker is running all the crispy routes, 
catching everything, you know what I mean, not dropping a pass, you feel me? So, those intangible things, that attention to detail, that working on your craft to where you don't drop passes and whatnot, you know, that is a metaphor for like the wifely duties and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Being a good wife, being a good help me, you know? So we're not dating because we want exoticals necessarily. We're not dating because we want white. We're, we're not going SYSBM because we want white girls. You know what I mean? We want a proper, we want a woman with a proper orientation of a family structure and a proper orientation on how to treat her man. Simple as that. 